Hello, everybody. Sophia. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very hey. much. Just a second here. I'm gonna take over the screen here. Okay, can you guys see the screen, the MLS screen? Yes. Great. All right, great. So this is the uh, this is the uh, so it is uh, Tuesday, September 29th, twenty twenty. This is the weekly Hancock Park market update. Reminding you that this is being recorded, so please participate and keep your comments pleasant and positive. <laughs> I've got the listings here. I'm going to go to the active listings in Hancock Park and see how many we have today. Oh, we yeah. have two less than we had last week, which was 101. Today we have 99 listings, which is the second highest number we've had in a very, very long time. Two weeks ago we had 98. Uh, let's see about our s sales in the last week. And uh, anybody who has your, if you could, if you're not going to say anything, please put yourself on mute. In the last seven days, we have had five sales. Five sales, which is one more than the week before. And uh, the week before that, there were seven sales. So that is still running along an average of about 20 sales a week. I mean, 20 sales a month. Now, let's look at the pendings. This is always very interesting. The escrows, we have currently 49 escrows. So we have been steadily building on the escrows. Last week, we had 47. So there are two more escrows, and there are two less listings for sales. So let's go to the ones that were just sold in the last seven days and go through those starting with the highest to the lowest. Well. Just had a little hiccup there with the system. So I'm going to go back to the sales here. Let's see if this will work. In the last seven days, let's see if this works. All right, there we go. Start with the highest to the lowest. These are all listings per the MLS. Looks like we've had two rather larger sales, especially the one on Lucerne. <clears throat> okay. 332 South Lucerne, four beds, five baths, 3,700 square feet with a large lot of 14,000 plus square feet. Sold for over $1,000 a square foot at $4 million by Thomas Gladman. Uh, anybody see this house? I thought James and June represented the buyer based on Ophir's last slide a few minutes ago. Let's see here. That's right. June and James represented the buyer. Congratulations, guys. I heard multiples. Okay, great. This is a 3,700 square footer. There are uh, quite a few houses on Lucerne that are under 4,000 square feet. Uh, this one in particular, 3722, uh, always has a huge lot, over 14,000 square feet. 
I've actually got the listing at 432 South Lucerne, which is exactly one block away. That's a 3,500 square foot house with a 14,000 square foot lot. Beautiful house. So that's over a thousand dollars a square foot. It doesn't look like it was fully remodeled. So that's good that they were able to get a thousand dollars. Very nice. It was in very nice shape. It was? Yes. Perfect. Uh, 634 North Cherokee. This is quite a sale considering the size of the lot. I've been keeping an eye on this one sold by Neil McDermott. Four beds, five baths, 3,100 square feet. That's all good. But then we've only got a lot of 6,300 square feet. Uh, and it's pretty darn close to Melrose. So it's quite a sale at over $1,000 a square foot. Did anybody see it? Obviously, it must have been completely redone. Take a look here. That's a house as one half the size of the lot. Lisa sold it about a year or two ago. It has four bedrooms upstairs. Oh, that's um, a good one. And they, these current owner, the yard was small, but um, you know, it has, it has kind of everything. Um, it's a, uh, you know, turnkey, and they did a nice job with additions since they purchased. So that house, it looks like it is only three houses down. Is that right? Three houses down from Melrose. E, that's not the right picture, but it's three or four. Yes. Wow. Big sale. Big sale. 648 Lillian. Is that, uh, yes, that's on a core. 1875 on the market for only nine days. 1,673 square feet, over $1,100 a square foot at a million eight seventy five. Anybody see this one? Yep, that's Pete Bonacourse. Yep. It's back up to an apartment, but it's a nice house. Real nice house. No yard, really. Good house, though. Yeah. Let's see, I'm trying to get a shot of that apartment building, but don't see it. There it is. <laughs> it looks like it has a nice little guest house as well. <clears throat> That's over 11. So we've got three houses so far, over a thousand dollars a square foot. Next, we've got 627 North Gower up at the far corner of uh, up at the far end of Larchmont Village, um, $1,582 uh, uh, square feet, two bedrooms, $1,764,000, a square foot with a little lot at 5,600, sold by Daria Rodlinski at Compass. Anybody see this guy? Another over, wow, that's a pretty shot right there. Don't waste any time, do you? I'm going to say, I mean, I'm serious. If you what I know, all the massive arbors, great job. Not sure if you can hear me, Judd. But if you could put yourself on mute, that'd be fantastic. Okay. Looks like a really pretty house. Again, another wow. house that sold for over a thousand. That's eleven $1 hundred and fifteen dollars a square foot, with only a fifty-six hundred square foot lot. Okay. Last house is nine seventy-two Westchester Place. Typically not within our um, range here. It's over on the bottom corner near um, Arlington and Olympic. Twenty-six hundred square feet sold for a million three ninety-five. By John Lee of Compass. Let's go back to the and let's look at the actives for the last week. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, so if I'm reading this correctly, we've got 11 new listings in the last week, yeah, which is quite a lot. So let's just see here. Yeah, 11 new listings. Now, the week before that, we had uh, 12 new listings in seven days. So in the last 14 days, we have had 23 new listings come online. And among those, we've got 601 South Windsor, which is right on the corner at 6th. Now, is that that big house that got remodeled? Let's take a look at these. Yeah, they just bought it. Yeah, they bought it in the 800 and the 8 million range, if I remember correctly. And uh, now they've got it on the market for 12 with John Grauman, which is $1,000 a square foot. Big, 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 big house. 11,828, 26 square feet. I know it's got a really big third floor. Nine bedrooms, nine baths, 26,000 square feet. Only issue is that it's right on the corner, very busy corner of six. Beautiful house. One of my favorites. Anybody seen this? Uh, anybody know if anything has been done to the house since it was sold last? Here we've got a lot of the dark wall. It's, it's definitely decorated to the nines way more than it was. The, the draw bed thing is fabulous to it. The drawback's the yard. The backyard? It's not as big as typical estates at the price level, that's all. With 26,000 square foot lot, you'd think it's, it's just, easy. it's the way it lays out there. Yeah. But, and it's on, it's on the corner, but it's just, it's all in the layout of it. Mm -hmm. But it looks like they've improved it and it looks like they've improved the offering big time. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. All right, 444 South Muirfield on a, this is one of the primo streets of Hancock Park. Five beds, seven baths, 21,000 lot. We don't have a square footage on it, 65. So $6.575 million. I'm gonna see if I can find a square footage in public record. If anybody has Judd's cell phone, it'd be great if you could text him and let him know we can hear his conversations. Let's see. Building square foot, we've got 5,110 square feet. So that is, if that were correct and there were no additions to the house, that would be a dollar per square foot of $1,286 per square foot, a little bit on the high end. However, it is truly a magnificent street. And uh, usually most of the houses on that part of Muirfield are exquisite. Who has this one again? This one is with Ernie Carswell. Four, four, four. It's, I believe it's on the corner. Who owns it? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. It's not on the corner. It's mid block. No, not on the corner. Uh -uh. Who owns it? Let's see here. Owned by Museum Associate. Oh, could that's, be, the, Lack, that's the Lackma house where Govan has been living that Lisa sold, what, 10 years ago? That's where Michael Govan's living. Govan, Govan, however you say it. Beautiful. Remember Lisa sold it, guys, like 10 years ago? It feels like it was before, like not as long as 10 years ago. Well, you can click back on APN. We'll see. Yeah. I've got... Uh, sold right there. Two, 2006. 2006. 14 wow. years ago. Yeah. Sold for 4750 back in 2006. Good to buy LA real estate, baby. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's go back. All right, 5229 West 
2nd, and that is right on the west side of the golf course, uh, and that is uh, right <laughs> to Hudson. Now, I believe this is the, yes, this is the Army <laughs> Hammer House. He just bought it yes. last uh, year, I believe, for 4.75. And, and listing it already for Army Hammer is a, I know he's at least a social media influencer, if not other things. He's a big actor. Big actor, annoyingly he's good looking. Getting, he's getting divorced. Now the thing about this house, it looks like they've done a lot of work. It's beautiful inside, but it's got a little bit of a marginal lot in comparison to the other houses because it's kind of cut off due to that a uh, little peninsula of that island that comes out. Look at that beautiful pile right there. All redone designer. Got a third story attic. This is the backyard, no grass uh, with a pool. It's right next to the Tim Enright listing, which is that house on the end of that island. It's also very private, you know. This who house? Has, yeah, who has the listing? Sherry Beanstalk. Yeah, she sold it to him. Yeah, here you can see the lot. Uh, if I do the uh, aerial on it, you can see the lot. It doesn't have much of a backyard and it backs up to this huge house that I think it's it was or it is on the market too for 10 million. The one on Hudson, I think it's 184 Hudson. And that, so that's that one. 134 South Windsor. It doesn't, it doesn't back up to 184. 184 is on the north side of Second Street. And this is on the I don't, I don't, oh, one second, I might be wrong. I'm sorry, I might be wrong. So this is 134 yeah. Windsor. I believe this is, yep, the Lavalin Car team. Great job. Uh, I saw you also had it listed in the Larchmont Buzz. I want to learn more about how you advertise there. Um, 3799 $842 a square foot. That's a, seems like an incredible price. Four, five. Uh, 4,500 square feet, 13,369 lot. You want to say something about it, Ann? Are you still with us? Okay. I'm, I'm here. Sorry. Yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic house. It needs all systems. Um, you know, I mean, it, it needs, it needs work. So, you know, it's, it's a fabulous house. It's the first time it's been on the market, um, probably 48 years. And um, we've just put in heating and air, and we're in the process of upgrading the 200 amp panel, but it will need all electrical and plumbing in the house, maybe a roof, definitely a chimney, maybe sewer, certainly termite. It's a trust sale. Forty five hundred square feet. Big lot, 13,000 plus lot, 842 a square feet. Perfect for somebody who wants to turn this in. I mean, the location, come on, right there. You can walk or it's a short distance to Larchmont Village. Just a great location. 527 North Cherokee. This is on the second block south of from Melrose, so great location, $2.5 million listed by Rick Yanos. Rick, are you on the line with us? 3859 square feet, $647 a square foot. Considering right up the street, they sold for over a thousand in a similar size lot. That's quite, seems like a very good price. Looks like it might need a little bit of work or a lot. Kitchen definitely. But at 642 a square foot. Wow. 
Looks like it's totally livable though. You can move in and fix it up as you go if you have a budget constraint. No backyard, however, a lot of amenities like pool and outdoor barbecue and bonus room. Five twenty five North Highland, second block south of Melrose, four thousand thirty seven square feet at uh, two point five million six hundred eighteen dollars a square foot. Jonathan Wisman. Now that is a big price for Highland. Two point five million dollars. Looks like it's got really great uh privacy in the front there, especially for Highland, you want that if you can get it. I'm not sure about this. Anybody seen this house? 2.5 seems like a stretch to me. I haven't seen many houses sell for 2.5 on Highland, almost no matter what condition. So that's definitely optimistic. 533 North Irving, right smack dab in the center of Larchmont Village. Three beds, two baths, 1,900 square feet. Uh, just under $1,000 a square foot at 1.9 million with a 5,000 lot, so, so a smaller lot by Keith Lyon of Master Realty. <clears throat> Anybody seen this one? Looks kind of unique. So with only 5,000 square feet, it doesn't have much of a backyard. Okay, 1.9 million is a decent price. <clears throat> Things are starting to go over two in that area, but still can get stuff under two. 1,000, uh, 1043 South Windsor. This is gonna be just south of Olympic. Um, I'm not sure. Does anybody know what that neighborhood is called? Is that, uh, it's uh, south of Windsor Village, east of Longwood Highland. Uh, that name, it probably has a name. It's still a very historic neighborhood. Three beds, two baths, 1748 square feet, just over $1,000 a square foot. Wow. Big lot, 8,500 for a million eight fifty, listed by Brad Downs of Rodeo Realty. It's called Oxford Square. Oxford Square. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, look, it looks like it's been uh, upgraded to the current standards. Look at those dark walls. Very modern. I mean, very current. Pool. Looks like it's pretty private. Big wall on all sides, very private. Million eight fifty is a big price over there, though. <clears throat> all right, ten fourteen South Lucerne. This is actually just north. This is in the Windsor Village neighborhood. <clears throat> I think I thought actually the ten block was south of Olympic, but maybe right there it goes with uh, Nicole Bray of Curb, 1,760 square feet, three bed, two bath, almost $800 a square foot, which would be, especially at only a million 399, that's the that's, uh, lower end of the spectrum, so totally reasonable. Looks like it's been upgraded. Okay. I want to say that's got to be really close to Olympic. Let's see here. Yeah. Well, not too terribly close. All right, next one. 1056 St. Andrews. So there's a lot of properties in the over 1,000 neighborhoods uh, in the 10s of the south part. 
So these are all south. A lot of these are south of Olympic or right around Olympic. This is also a million three ninety nine at uh, four beds, two, four baths, two thousand square feet. Almost, it's a nine thousand two hundred square foot lot. Listed by Ian Hollinger of BRC Advisors. Anybody see this one? This is a good area for buying in the low to mid ones. Looks like it hasn't been staged or done anything, but okay. And this is our last new listing at 11 or 720 Lorraine. And this is also in the Windsor Village neighborhood, also at just under 1.4. So we've got four or three brand new listings right there at a million four, five beds, four baths, <clears throat> 3,300 square feet. Not sure how big the lot size is. Let's see if it pulls up on public record. Lot size is 7,500. Who's the agent? Agent is Andrea Drawn. I want to say this was listed before. I think I did a walk on this one. No, Eric, the one next door was listed. Okay. Uh, the agent is from Pasadena. Okay, perfect. I live across the street. Yeah. Is that Cheryl's house? Yes. All right, let's take a look at the uh, under contract for the last seven days. <clears throat> hmm. wow. 49 in escrow, huge number. But we're not seeing these things close yet. We're still running around at five or six or seven a week, which is not the kind of numbers you would expect when you only have 30 to 45 day escrows. So I'm expecting we're gonna have a flood of closings coming up soon. All right, in the last seven days we've had six go into escrow or have some sort of change. <clears throat> so one a week basically is selling, although we've had much more than that in the weeks before that. <clears throat> I don't see any big ones going into escrow this week. So 801 Longwood. This one went in fast, I think. This is Sandy Beck, 19 days on market. Sandy, are you with us? Five beds, three baths, 4,000 square feet, 8,600 lot for $614 a square foot, along with a very nice street, classic historic street. Wow. We looked at this one before. Look at the Spanish detail. Look at that room. Beautiful. Wow, those ceilings are really magnificent. Incredible fireplace right there. I love that on the corner. W.F. Ball Jr. Home, built 1928. Needs a new kitchen. Obviously a beautiful home that sold right away for Sandy. Beautiful. Wow, look at that covered patio. We got a little bar out there. Lots of character. There's a historic photo taken in 1928. Hasn't changed much, has it? Mm. Now, before, after. All right. 835 South Orange. So this is in the um, <clears throat> Hancock Park adjacent neighborhood. 
I really love the style of this house. Got a lot of character, five beds, four baths, almost 3,000 square feet, 6,200 lots. So not the biggest, $816 a square feet for 2.4 million listed by Aaron Belliston, BMR Enterprises. I believe, am I, if I'm not mistaken, this was rather newish. Let's see here. Yeah, built in 2020. Mm. 2.4 million with 3,000 square feet. I would think that that's going to go, unless there's something I don't know. Anybody know anything about this house? I guess it did go. What am I saying? This is our, these are the escrows. Lovely staging. Looks like they're using that. Uh, ADU. Is that an ADU back there? Okay. So this one was on the market 39 days listed. Uh, let's see here. Under contract listed on August 21st. Wow. 640 Lillian. This is right down the way from Pete Bonacore's other listing. This is his, this is another one he has on Lillian. Not sure, but I think he lives on Lillian. Three bed, two baths, 1,700 square feet, million seven fifty thousand dollars a square foot, 6,300 uh, square foot house. He likes those uh, twilight shots. Then another beautiful looking remodel. You can get a nice house on Lillian, very quiet little street, close to everything. Beautiful, only a million seven fifty. And that looks like the uh, guest house or bonus house. Very nice, million seven fifty. Seven days on market, quick sale. One hundred two South Wilton. This is a thirty three hundred square foot house listed by Teresa LaRoche of Keller Williams. Um, <laughs> only $442 a square foot, 8,300 lot for 1.5 million. Wilton's a pretty busy street with a lot of noise. So that would help explain the uh, dollar per square foot. Has anybody seen this? Looks like it needs some work on top of that. It can look rather newish. Two stories. Not every house on Wilton is two stories. Looks like it's got quite a few bedrooms there. Three, four, possibly four bedrooms upstairs. For a million five. 534 North Bronson asking a million two, and they had to drop their price. From a million two twenty-five, listed by Mary and Andrew Woodward. Uh, this is on Bronson, so it's getting to the far right end, far east end of Larchmont Village, twelve hundred twenty-six square feet. This was on the market for quite a while. Very cute little house, small yard. So this is entry level right here at a million one ninety nine, listed for seventy one days still. All right, four twenty one South Wilton, back on Wilton, seventeen hundred and eighty square foot, three board bed, four bath, for five hundred eighty nine a square foot, million bucks, just over a million bucks. Joe Reichling, nineteen hundred and ten square feet. Uh, this is going to be a uh, townhouse. That's what townhouses go for, right around a million bucks. And that is it for the new escrows this week. So let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, Ann, are you still with us? So yeah. any, any comments on the market? I'm, I'm here. 
Any comments on the uh, last week of the market? Well, I was encouraged that um, that the Irving House and the Lucerne House, both over four, went into escrow. I think that's a good signal uh, because it felt real slow right before that at the at the four million plus price points. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's extremely um, busy lower than that <laughs> but over four million um you know they're just there are fewer people out but I, I again i was encouraged that uh that those two houses sold and it it i don't know who bought josh mylar's irving house yet um but i presume james and june's client who bought lucerne was also floating around looking at some of the others i know i assume so right now we've got uh, we've got uh, 332 Lucerne that sold over four. Hi. Hi. sold over three, and uh, that's going back. So I called and said, uh, for you and 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 Rick to do, do this the deal. Last seven uh, days. He's an investor. He wants to buy something. You can your. Uh, Wonder if I can turn them on. And fix it up and sell it. Oh my okay. goodness, so, Michelle, that's uh, nice. He's, he's, he's a big time guy. Uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, so experience, he's successful. All right. So, um, Thank you. if you could turn off, if you could mute, that'd be great. So, look, we've got, so this is what we've got in escrow here 10 million on Hudson, 7 million on Irving. Uh, I believe that's the Josh Altman house. Six point. Nine nine on Irving, uh, so we've got quite a bit over as over four million, eight listings over four million in escrow. One having sold at the very bottom of four million, and then in the three. Yeah, but look, but look at those dates. So, so let's go over four. So we've got one, two, one, two, three in September. Yeah. Yep, three in September. See, but there was there was a ten day lag between each one of them. Anyway, the absorption's good. Yeah. Let's look at the actives. What we have available right now, if I remember right, we've got quite a few in the double digits. Looks like in the last, during our meeting, <laughs> two more houses were listed. We we're back up to 101. We were at 99. Actually, no, that's not true. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we've got, essentially, if we're counting 9.9 .9 million, we've got eight listings in escrow. I mean, for sale over at you know at ten or well, above. They're able to establish. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's around. good. All right. Well, then I'll talk to Rick about that and let's see. What and then uh, we've got uh, you know we've got eighteen over six million. Oh, five. And then uh, if we were to count everything over four million, we've got twenty-five listings over four million. So we're definitely going to need that absorption to go through this inventory. But if I remember right, Rick and Ann said in a few a few weeks ago that, you know, a lot of these houses, what's different is that a lot of these houses are really you know, the nicer houses, you know. You you, you might go to four houses and only one of them is good. In this case, there's a lot of good inventory, a lot of great houses for sale right now. So it's really a good time to be a buyer. There's great stuff to pick from. Um, you know, a lot of these houses are unique, historic, tons of character, and you've just got your the pickings to choose. I mean, if you're not 100% budget conscious and you're just looking for something amazing, this is like a, a golden era to be able to pick between all these incredible homes um, all over Hancock Park. Any comments? <clears throat>
All right. Well, on that note, I will uh, end the meeting and just wanted Thank to. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you guys for joining us. And Anne, always appreciate your comments. Hope you keep coming back. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. And thank you all for your comments, Star and and uh, Janine and everybody else. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. The class over? Hmm? The class for Eric is yeah. over? Oh. It is over. Just over.